Hello, my name is Kina Johnson. I am a neurosurgeon practicing in Orlando, Florida. I specialize in both brain and spine surgery, and I also specialize in sacroiliac joint disorder and fusions. Some of the common causes that um, we see with SI joint dysfunction are automobile accidents, um, any type of trauma, um, slip and falls, also with childbirth, actually with women, um, we do see it quite often. And um, the main thing is obviously being able to diagnose it and diagnose it properly. I do feel that patients who have been in car accidents who do present with um, what appears to be nerve pain have been misdiagnosed quite a bit just because of lack of education about knowing what SI joint instability is, knowing how it presents, and the fact that this isn't something that we will typically see on radiographic imaging. If I suspect that someone has SI joint instability, the first thing that I would have them do is an SI joint injection. And for me, that just confirms that yes, this pain is coming from the joint if they get relief. And that relief doesn't have to be a month or two months or two years. It can just be that day or a couple of hours. But any bit of relief lets me know it's actually coming from that joint. If it's less than two months that the pain comes back, that's when I say, okay, we need to go on to doing the SI joint fusion. An SI joint fusion takes about an hour. It's a very small incision. We insert at least three implants across the joint and the patient wakes up, goes home. They are lightweight bearing for three weeks. And I would usually say at about the six week mark, the patient is walking and getting back to their regular activities. So for me, one of the reasons that I have um, specifically chosen to use the IFU system is sort of twofold. One, obviously there's been trials and data that shows that uh, patient outcomes have been very good. It gives you such a great feeling knowing that you've taken this patient that could barely walk, that was having so much pain that no one could figure out what was going on and you do this procedure and now they're ecstatic. They're back to work, they're back to living their life, taking care of their kids, picking their baby up. So that of course brings joy to me knowing that they're better, knowing that the patient's better, knowing that we help in some kind of way. So if you are a patient who's experiencing these symptoms that I've mentioned, I would encourage you to come and see me or call our office and schedule an appointment online as well.